This is the Medicare for the company, Medicare for the employee. The Medicare for the company, we would like to break out to its own expense account uh, for that particular item. So what I'm gonna do is right click and let's see if we can edit the payroll item. Then we'll go through the little widget here. So we're gonna keep this the same and I'm gonna keep this the same. I sh probably should enter the name of the agency, but I won't do that now. We got the liability accounts. So the liabilities, I'm gonna keep those going to the payroll liabilities because I could break it out into its own liability account for like, like a different liability account for the Medicare stuff, but I'm gonna keep that the same. What I wanna do is change the payroll expense. I don't want it to go into payroll expense because I just want that to be the expense for the earnings, not for our payroll taxes. So I'm gonna add a new account here and I'm just gonna make it an expense account and I'm gonna call it payroll taxes account. And so there we have it. And so sometimes you might wanna have a parent account for payroll and then break out the payroll expense versus the taxes, for example, or, but I'm just gonna make it separate and they'll be side by side because of alphabetical order. So I'll keep that as is and I'll say, okay, and okay and next and everything else i want the same so it says you have changed the expense account associated with payroll please choose an option to continue update all existing transactions to use this new account i want to do that because i want all transactions even though i already processed payroll to include that or i can choose the date here which would which would be still good because it's january normally if you choose this one you want to do it for the whole year. You want all of your stuff to be consistent for the entire year. If you want to change it, you'll typically want to change it in like January so that you have a whole year worth of stuff that's the same because the point is that you want to be able to tie out as easily as possible your W-2s, your W-3s, your 940s and with your financial statements. So I'm going to say, okay. And so that looks good. Let's just check that one to see if it's doing what we would expect thus far. So it is, so there's the payroll taxes.